practice community. Okay, perfect. So since we have requested a bit of sweating, I'm going to invite you to come onto your back. Let's start this class on the back. I'm just going to shut my door because as much as I love Princess's Freedom, it's 9 p.m. here. So I think she should stay inside for the rest of the night. Okay, <laughs> so come onto your back body. Rest your feet together. Let your palms be on your belly and on your heart. Take deep breaths in and out. Fill your belly, fill your lungs with air. Exhale, let it go. Big breath in, filling, filling, filling. Exhaling, emptying. And decide what you want to receive from today. Do you want to receive letting go? Do you want to receive healing? What do you want from this? Take one more breath. And then just bring your knees in. We're gonna interlace the palms on the back of the skull. We're gonna start with a little bit of warming up. So lift your head up, tap your right elbow to your left knee, and then we're just gonna go opposite elbow, opposite knee. So these are yogi bicycles. We're tapping into our core strength right now. So as I was saying, I haven't done a lot of like strong, intense movement this week. I've done a lot of chilling. <laughs> I've also been having a lot of trouble sleeping. I think it's just like myself readjusting to my new life, you know, detoxing, getting settled. Do five more, four more. Three, good, two, last one. Hold your left elbow to your right knee. Just stay for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Opposite, right elbow, left knee, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Take your palms underneath your sits bones, lift your legs up, and we're just gonna drop one leg, lift it up, opposite side. So one at a time. Just see if you can do five more, four more, three, two, Good, last one. And now just bring both legs to hover and then just do some scissor kicking. Just give it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one nice work, bring your knees into your chest. Take your palms on the backs of the thighs. Actually, let's open up our legs a little bit. Take our feet towards the ceiling. Grab hold of the toes and just rock from side to side. <sighs> so one thing I love about this room is that it has really beautiful mood lighting. The, the people that designed this house designed it so beautifully but the mood lighting is not ideal for teaching yoga in okay <laughs> take the palms on the backs of the thighs do a nice big rock and roll and we're gonna come and rock and roll all the way up onto both feet try to do this without touching the ground as you do it so just rock all the way up to your chair pose lift your arms up Come into your chair, hold strong in your chair. Get uncomfortable for five, four, three, 
two, and then on one, forward fold. Take your inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, land the palms. Step all the way back, find your down dog. Now from our down dog, we're gonna come all the way forward into plank and then go all the way back up to down dog. And then just do a few more like this, coming all the way forward. Going all the way back. From your down dog, leave your left foot where it is. Take your right leg up. Draw the right knee in. Take a big step with your right foot between your palms. Lift your arms up to a crescent lunge. And from our crescent lunge, we're gonna hover our back knee down and then lift our back leg back up and just do three more like this. Hover and then lift. Two more. Last one, bend it and hover. And then just take your palms forward and frame your foot. Step your right foot back. Move through a flow or come all the way back up to down dog. Step the feet in, let your head go. Take deep breaths. We'll go the opposite way. Take your left leg up. Do some circles through the left knee. Take your left leg all the way up again. And then just draw the left knee in. Step the foot between the palms. Lift your arms up. And then we'll do a few of these hover and then lift. Just three more, two more. Last one, hover it down and stay for five, for four, for three, for two. And then on one, bring your arms all the way forward, frame your foot. Let's step our left foot back to meet the right, find a plank. Push the ground away. Stay here with your belly drawing in, your core engaged. And then when you're ready, just move through a flow or go straight up to your down dog. Nice work, team. Let me get out of my WhatsApp. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to do the exact same thing two more times. But when I say exact same thing, I mean, do whatever you want. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a few moments, connect to your breath. You can add in knee dips. You can add in twists, whatever you want. Just flow with your body, with the music. We're gonna meet up in child's pose at the very end. That's when I know that everyone's ready to move on. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Just think about how amazing it is that you have made it here. And I know how hard that is. Oh my God. This week I went to one yoga class. <laughs> one. <laughs> but that's not normal for me. I usually go every single day.
Oh, I love, I see both Darlene and Sarah are cuddling their dogs right now. I was just looking at my cat. She's breathing so deeply, so deeply. Now she's looking at me. It's like she knows I'm talking about her. <laughs> I mean, maybe she encountered a predator. Maybe that's why she's breathing deeply. I interpreted it as she did so much movement. <laughs> oh, okay. We need to move. <laughs> so from your child's pose, come all the way up to your down dog. Take your right leg up towards the sky. We're gonna do a mandala flow today. Bend through your right knee, stack the hips. If you wanna flip your dog, go for it. You're gonna come all the way forward. Land your right toes. Lift your heart. Come all the way around with your right palm. Lift your right leg up. Draw your right knee in. Take a big step with your right foot between your palms. Lift your arms all the way up and now come open into a warrior two. Take your right arm forward, your left arm back. Let's flow with our breath. Take your inhale, reverse. Lift your right arm up. Come all the way forward, right elbow onto the right thigh. Lift your left arm overhead. Can you do this a few times now? Move with your breath. Reversing, coming forward. Right, just do two more. Last one. And now once you land in your extended side angle, I want you to choose where you go with this. So you could leave your elbow on the thigh. You could reach your right arm towards the mat. Maybe you thread the arm under, make a connection, see how that feels. Press through both feet, lift all the way up. Lengthen through your right leg, reach your right arm forward. Take your right arm alongside your right calf. Lift your left arm up. This is your Utida Trikonasana, your triangle. And then if you want to, you might shift weight onto your right foot, right fingertips. Take your Ardha Chandrasana. Grab hold of your left foot if you can. Open through your heart space. Press through your big toe, connect to your breath. It's okay if you fall. Release your left foot. Take your left foot all the way back. And now just lengthen through your right leg, turn your toes in, come into your wide-legged forward fold. Leave your right palm where it is, lift your left arm up. Land your left palm, reach your right arm up. Good, just do one more of each. Land your right palm, lift your left arm up. Good, land your left palm, reach your right arm up. And then release your palm back down, take the hands onto the hips, lift up. Let's turn our toes out now to the back of the mat. Lift off of your right heel. And if you get a bit lost, it's okay. You are facing the right direction. You're gonna find your way where you need to be. I promise you. Take your arms up, take your palms in art center, do a little lift through your elbows. Land your right elbow onto your left knee. Gaze over your left shoulder. And now we're gonna explore taking a big step forward with the right foot. Come into this revolved chair. 
and then come all the way up to stand. Take your right knee into your chest, palms interlaced on the shin. Maybe you hook your hands around your right big toe and just extend the leg. Perhaps you reach your right foot over to the right, lift your left arm to the side. Perhaps you pass the foot through center. Grab hold of the outer edge of the right foot. Sweep your right arm back. Stay for three, for two. And then on one, just land your right foot alongside your left. Take your palms together. Give yourself this mountain moment as you connect to your breath. Cross your right ankle in front of your left. Just lift onto your tippy toes. Do a little quarter swivel. Land your heels. Leave your right foot where it is. Take a big step out with your left foot. Turn your toes out. Bend through the left knee. Bring yourself into your warrior two. Just inhale, reverse the warrior. And then come all the way forward with both hands. Step back to your down dog. Maybe you flow. <sighs> so we've made it through our mandala flow. We're gonna go around the opposite way. So leave your right foot where it is, lift the left leg up. Just bend through the left knee, stack the hips. And then if you want to, you might flip your dog, landing your left toes, open your heart. Come all the way around, land your left palm, lift your left leg up. And then take a big step in with your left foot between your palms. We're gonna lift all the way up and come open to your warrior two. So take your right arm back, your left arm forward. Move with your breath, breathe in reverse. Come all the way forward, left elbow onto the left thigh. Can you do a few like this? Maybe just one more. And then decide what you wanna do. Once your elbow lands on the thigh, you might reach around, go into a bind. Maybe you just stay right here. Let's press through both feet, lift all the way up. Lengthen through your left leg, reach forward, Utita Trikanasana. Left arm runs alongside, left calf, reach the right arm up. Now maybe shift weight onto your right, sorry, left foot, left fingertips. This is your half moon, hang out here. Perhaps you kick the foot back. And then just release your right foot, step back. Come all the way forward. And then press through both feet. We're gonna lift all the way up. Now turn your right toes to the back of the mat, lift off of your back heel. Take both arms up towards the sky. And again, let's twist. Take your palms into your heart center, land your left elbow onto your right thigh.
And then you might take a big step forward with your left foot. Come into your twisted chair, just stay here for three, for two. And then on one, we're gonna come all the way up to stand, take your left knee into your chest. Perhaps you grab hold of the toes, just extend the leg in front of you. Maybe you open your left foot to the left, reach your right arm up. Perhaps you pass the foot, extend your left arm back, take three, take two. And then on one, just release your left foot, take your palms at heart center, mountain moments. Leave your left foot where it is. You're gonna take a big step back with your right foot, just pivot all the way around. Bend through your right knee, find your warrior two. Take your inhale, reverse. And then we're gonna come all the way forward with both palms. And this time we're gonna take a big step forward with your left foot. Come into squat with your toes out. Take your palms into your heart center. And then if you want to, you might lift your bottom up, land your palms and explore coming into your crow seeing how that feels. Knowing that falling is part of the process and the practice and the journey. Beautiful. Hopping or stepping back to your plank, moving through a flow. And then I wanna give everyone one option right now. So from your down dog, we're gonna do a little gentle inversion. So you could just stay in down dog, that's an inversion. You could come on, onto your back and lift your legs up, that's an inversion. If shoulder stand is part of your practice, do that. I really feel like headstand is calling me right now and I don't normally teach headstand over Zoom. <laughs> So if that's not something that's part of your practice, I would, I would not encourage it. But if it is something that you feel like exploring, let's just take a minute to explore. Let's come all the way up to seated and we're gonna send our legs around. 
land the feet onto the mat, roll the back body back down, push through the feet, push through the palms, lift the hips up, roll the shoulder blades under, interlace the palms, pinky side, pressing down. If you wanna come all the way up into your full wheel, there's an invitation to do that. And eventually you'll come all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest. Release. Cross through the legs. We're going to rock up through seated. Actually, if you want to rock up to chair again, just like we did at the start of the class. And then from your chair, forward folding. Take your breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down, plant the palms. Just step back to your down dog. We're gonna leave our left foot where it is. Take the right leg up. And then draw the right knee in. Step the right foot wider than the hands and land onto your left knee. So you're coming into a lizard. And if you want to, you might land the elbows. Okay, right, let's stay there for a couple more breaths. Come all the way up onto the palms. Walk your right foot through center. And we're gonna lay our shin across the width of the mat and come forward. So I was saying earlier in my yoga teacher training class that I've been feeling kind of sad lately, excited, but sad. And I've been thinking a lot about this collective group of people that I walked through the pandemic with. And the mindful life practice and the role that this has played in people's lives has evolved over time. And in the pandemic, this was literally what we did in lockdown. We spent all day on Zoom together. And it's a little sad when that evolves and we let go of people and things change. But I've been thinking a lot about how if the world hadn't changed, if the pandemic hadn't ended, then the next chapter would have never started. I never would have started doing Bali retreats. I never would have gotten this space to lead classes here. Right, so sometimes we have to let go to call in the next phase, the next chapter. Pigeon pose feels so good. I don't even want to get out of it, <laughs> but we have to, we must, we must move on. <laughs> we must let go. Let's come up onto the hands. Tuck your left toes, step your right foot back, find your strong plank. Let's just hang out in plank for 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then lift up to your down dog. Take your left leg up. Draw your knee in, step your foot wider than your hands. Come onto your right knee, maybe you come onto the elbows. Stay here for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, lifting all the way up, sending your left foot across the width of the mat and then coming all the way forward. Let's stay there for just a couple more breaths. And then lift all the way up. Send your right leg all the way around. We're gonna step our left foot over, so our right foot over our left thigh. Lift our left arm up and then just come all the way, land the elbow. Onto the right knee, gaze over the right shoulder. Take one more breath. And then release your palms and let's switch the legs. So lay your right knee across the bottom of the mat and then just take your right elbow around, gaze over the left shoulder. a few more breaths. And then just unwind, unwind through both legs. We're gonna keep our right leg straight, left foot to the inside of the right thigh, lift both arms up. 
and then come all the way forward, extend over the right leg. Take another breath where you are and then let's switch it up. So we're going to come all the way up, lengthen the left leg, take your right foot to the inside of your left thigh, reach both arms up and then come all the way forward. Take one more round of breath where you are. Come all the way up now. Just roll all the way up. And we're going to come all the way onto the back. And just finish off with a twist. So open your arms. Drop the knees to the right. Gaze over the left shoulder. Open your right arm, take your knees through center, twist the opposite way, gaze over the right shoulder. Open your left arm, just draw the knees up, give the body a nice, sweet little hug. And slowly stretch all the way out into your final resting pose.
When you're ready, you just do a little wiggle through your body, stretch all the way open. Bring your knees into your chest, give your body a nice little hug. Come all the way up to seated with your palms at your heart center. Lengthen up through the spine, soften the shoulders.
what you feel around you, what you hear around you, what you sense within you as you slow down, as you come home. Let's close this practice with an intention. And it is the ancient but original intention that's been passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice remains steady, our efforts remain continuous. Our yoga helps and heals and it serves and it benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe. May they be happy, healthy, and free. May the thoughts and the actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. Let's just finish with an ohm sound, breathing in, breathing out, and breathing in to make the ohm. So taking a big breath in, big breath out, big breath in. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for being here. Your presence truly means a lot. This community would not exist without each one of you filling this space, sharing this space. So thank you very much. The light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you.